The social democracy. Debate. Who doesn't see the humoristic site behind the problem has still not understood social democracy today. According to Cornelia Claster, be very careful of peace in a society where there is no justice. Today we sing a different tune, it makes a difference for all of us, including the ones changing the theme of the arrangement of the music. In today's society, the norm is out of control and has become abnormal, we are in a suicide watch state. In today's kingdom, we all recognize that the creator and the landlord of society are two different entities. The one who created the world and the one who rules the world are no longer unknown entities, hidden behind a form of power. We can even name them individually, earth, wind and fire. Power equated as PMS, which stands for politics, money and spirituality or religion. The rules changed somewhere midway, yet we keep on moving as if all is well. The norm changed though looks the same, which is not. What are these changes we are talking about? In the olden days, there was a music group named Earth, Wind, and Fire. Focused on music and their lifestyle, it set the trend for the youngsters to follow. Today, Earth, Wind, and Fire lead us to the weather stations. The announcer is no longer a male reporter often female. Women risen from the dungeons, and the misconceptions of a man's world, according to the song of James Brown, deceased. Likewise, his song, The Outlook for Woman Changed See Hash Me Too movement and acknowledgement of women is growing, yet not yet complete. The land of the free and the home of the brave. You earned it to be free, yet forced to carry a gun. No place is safe anymore, for the rights of humanity changed. From children of kindergarten up to university they notice the scary moments when friends and teachers are gunned down by fellow students, without reason. Their rights should be enforced, to arm themselves, for today, every teacher needs a gun in the land of the free and the home of the brave. To make sure each student will get safely through the day and arrive home, or church, or synagogue, places of worship no longer respected. Bombarded with fake news, as heads of states are elected by controlling bots. Programmed, to make sure that the choices made, are the ones determined by a few. We don't have fake news problems, we have a media literacy problem, far worse. What does that mean? Like junk food, today we speak of junk news, disinformation on purpose, during the war when the enemy wanted to confuse those held captive. Called inmates. It was also done, with our forefathers Adam and Eve as Satan fed them false information about the Creator. As, he disturbed peace and harmony, with a disgruntled society as a result. Looking back, it's more appealing for many, to live in the land of Conan the Barbarian than to live, in today's sophisticated society. With our beautiful cars, high rents, and perfect dwellings besides homes falling apart, like the third world countries with less accommodation. The good ideas drive bad ideas away, no longer outweigh the choices left. Free speech, no longer apparent, since hate speech is prevalent, an awful thing. In a social media society, we recognize the design flaw of free speech. There is no right of free speech if nobody cares, data is our oxygen today, thus treat it with care. Are we connected with people, or do we push them away, with our hatred and intolerance? When we say whatever comes to mind, and whatever we feel, we do. As a society we are short-tempered, and on drugs. Drugs, so powerful that we miss the simple life, where people care. When brave men and women gave their lives in World War I and World War II, for our freedom. Are we looking forward, fighting another fight to determine the outcome at Armageddon? If we have done nothing wrong, why are we so eager to avoid the truth? To clarify, let's go down to the basics, the alphabet. New information comes out all the time, do we have to go to a court of appeal? During the turn of the century, we had a significant problem, Y2K. A virus in all computers which could interrupt our way of life as a society. With full anticipation, we waited and waited, while nobody realized the bug released, injected in the community. We changed, as the youth determined to change. An intermediary, most of us were vaguely familiar with. A software called bots, crawlers, and creepy algorithms, young people becoming millionaires overnight, and some even billionaires. Dictating our freedom with their no rules. That gradually decreased and social norms replaced, for the right of carrying guns gunning down, at their pleasure, as they feel like it. Debilitating drugs changed the moral of society. Profits of shareholders more important than the health of civilization as we know it. 
Today, we are about to abandon the gold standard. Replacing it with fake money, called crypto, which sits on computers in a formula. You can't touch it, for it is a figment of the imagination. No norms, just freedom, which will lead to anarchy. We chose leadership without morals, nor rules in high positions. Wondering why hash me too movements for women draw attention. While clergy still molest children. Some, protected by billionaire pedophiles, protected by their Freemasons court systems. Just for our clarity and understanding. Why should you change? To change the world and start as a society again? If we need to change the world, we first need to start with our hearts. Overcome our stony heart. What is the subtext? What are we saying between the lines? Do we need a password? Deception protocol or deception protocol simplified. Dipping in the past and digging in the old archive, we are running in a paramount problem, looking at our footprints, we all leave footprints if we live on this earth. What is it? From a scientific perspective, there are four points, earth, wind, fire and our actions. Like the weather, we do determine the outcome, for we broadly believe in science. Do unto others what you want, them to do for you. How do you want to be treated, treat others likewise, and you will change society one step at the time. It is not what you feel, but what you do. What determines the outcome, no words, but actions. Decision making based on pending events, for each knows, what is coming. So, when our children asked, what did you do about it, dad or mom, or friend? You can confess affirmative, you did nothing about it, and that is why your children are messed up or so you can say. We averted the greatest disaster humanly possible. Granted a turn of events, thank God. Existential angst should not control us, for what is about to come. Before that happens, we can confront our decisions, as embarrassing as us, that we even have to think about it. Who we want to be is not binary, it comes with a price, we can do something about it with our actions. Brer Caleb, PhD. Tough times never last, tough people do.